hello students in this lecture we'll see uh, interpolation formula for unequal intervals here we have a few more methods to apply for unequal intervals so first one we'll see newton divided difference or newton general interpolation formula so this formula we are going to apply for unequal intervals that is the step size of the given variable for example x if it is not same at that time this method is suitable for to get a interpolation required results so we'll see what is this newton divided difference or Newton general interpolation formula. Let f of x0, f of x1, f of x2, so on, f of xn be the value of an unknown function y is equal to f of x corresponding to the values of x where x will take x0, x1, x2, so on, xn at unequal intervals. So this is very important for unequal intervals. The first order divided difference are defined as follows. So here I can say that so the divided difference formula only will take to simplify this uh, instead of first order. So I will take it as so we will take the divided difference are defined as uh, defined as follows the formula is so just concentrate for the formula here all of you y that is f of x also is given by f of x naught plus x minus x naught into f of x naught comma x1 so this is first term f of x0 plus second term is x minus x0 we are subtracting in this then f of x0 comma x1 plus plus next term is x minus x0 into x minus x1 will come multiplication of f of so here for x minus x0 it is x0 comma x1 so for x minus x0 for uh, and x minus x1 so f of it will become x0 x1 and x2 similarly for the next term plus I will write it down here x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 into f of x0, x1, x2 and x3 will come. Plus, I will write one more term. For next term, it will be x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3 into f of x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 plus plus so like that it will be continued plus so on so we'll get x minus x naught x minus x1 so on x minus x n minus 1 into f of x naught x1 so on xn so this is newton divided difference formula or Newton general interpolation formula. So here we will see what is this f of x0 comma x1 then f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 and what is f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 comma x3 so on f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 comma x3 comma x4 so on we will see what is the actual formula for this. So this formula I will take a table first then there I will see what is the formula for them here. So let us see the table now. Divided difference table. 
so the first column will be x column so here i will take the x values as x0 x1 x2 x3 so on so on xn so on i will take xn similarly so this is either y or f of x so usually in a divided difference we'll use as f of x here so it will become f of x0 f of x1 f of x2 f of x3 so on f of xn so it will be till here now next column will be so first divided difference in short dd will write first divided difference so in this first divided difference we will get here between among this we will get f of x0 comma x1 so between these two difference it will be f of x1 comma x2 between these two it will be f of x2 comma x3 so on so i will just uh, for convenience i will take uh, x, before xn we have x of n minus 1 and before f of xn we have f of x of n minus 1 so difference between this so on it will be f of x n minus 1 comma xn so this is the first difference and what is f of x naught comma x1 i will tell you here now where f of x naught comma x1 will be it is f of x1 minus f of x naught divided by x1 minus x naught so what is f of x1 and what is f of x naught you just see from the table f of x1 is this value and f of x naught is this value and in the it will come in the numerator and x1 minus x naught that is this value x1 minus x naught will come here similarly if you want to find the formula for f of x1 comma f of x2 it will be f of x1 minus f of x2 divided by x2 minus x1 so i will just write for one more formula here f of x1 comma x2 will be it is f of x1 minus f of x2 divided by x1 minus x2 so similarly the remaining formulas also you can write like that only just uh, you have to remember this one of the example here next second difference second divided difference will be so we'll have to take the difference between this so here how many variables are there x0 x1 x1 x2 so therefore so this is f of x0 x1 x2 will come so similarly difference of this so this will be f of x1 x2 x2 x3 is there so it will become f of x1 x2 x3 will come in order we have to write so similarly if you here work out and uh, we'll see so we'll get the same so on okay so these two formulas i will mention here so if you want we'll see that the formula for f of x0 x1 x2 so it will be formula for f of x0 x1 x2 will be it will be so it, you just see that it will be first minus last that is f of x0 or you just see here so from this only we have to take so it is nothing but f of x0 x1 x2 is nothing but so f of x0 comma x1 this is this will get a value and minus this f of x1 minus x2 f of x0 comma x1 minus f of x1 comma x2 divided by so here we have 
x naught x two, so it will become x naught minus x two. Okay, sorry. So difference means you have to take from down to up. So this one as this, so this will become uh, x one x two minus x naught x one, and here it will become x two minus x naught. Similarly. To get a formula for uh, f of x1, x2, x3, we have to subtract f of x2 minus x3, minus f of x2 comma x3 minus f of x1 comma x2. To get the formula for f of x1, x2, x3, so it is nothing but f of x2 comma x3 minus f of x1 comma x2 whole divided by Whole divided by x3 minus x1. Similarly, you can prepare a remaining formulas also. So, in general, I can say that here, so on, so on, the nth divided difference will be. So, it will be like f of x0, x1, so on, f of x. So, this you have to remember. So, for first difference, we have to go for x1 minus x2. For second difference, three x2 minus x0. Next, x3 minus x1. So we have to go. If next is there, so four four bunch you have to take. So uh, fourth value minus first value. Then you have to leave first one and go for the next fifth value minus second one so like that. So we'll, I will take one example. So then it will be more clear here. So this is a divided difference table to apply what here Newton divided difference or Newton general interpolation formula.